He's economist at OCBC Bank. Tommy, good morning. Your initial thoughts, sir. Good morning. So I think uh, the PPI is actually slightly on the higher side. So that partially because of this recent uh, rising of the commodity stories, right? So I think to me, uh, going forwards, the PPI is likely to decline further. But the problem is about the pace of the decline, right? So I think uh, based on what happened right now uh, in Ukraine, I think it looks like the pace of the decline of the PPI is likely to be uh, slower than initially expected. So that means the gap between the PPI and the CPI will remain pretty much wide. So the wider gap is not a good news uh, for the profit margin for a lot of downstream sectors. Right, and what does that then look like for March, given the just the crazy moves we've seen in the commodity markets in the first week of March? Just try and project for us what PPI might look like this month, Tommy. Sure, I mean, for the PPI, I think it, it was just uh, pretty, uh, slower to around 8%, but again, uh, we need to see more, uh, you know, mm. uh, information about this uh, volatility of the commodity. But, but for the CPI, I think, you know, the February should be marked the bottom for the year. So going to the March, I think the first for the CPI, most likely we're going to see the uh, CPI, CPI is going to rebound to above 1%, maybe towards 2% in the next few months.